welcome back to another video today i'm going to be going through calculating risk and uh leverage on futures right um i just made a video on this on forex and i've had a few questions um i've been in a couple of group chats where people are confused how to do this for uh futures uh crypto futures so i'm just gonna quickly be going through that today it should be a short video so first point why should we calculate risk right there's a reason we're doing it you need to know how much money is on the line how much money this trade that you're taking could potentially make you lose worry about how much you're losing not always about how much you're making because you know if you don't prepare to lose a certain amount it can have consequences in other ways and then of course the most basic one you want to avoid liquidation if you don't know what liquidation is it's essentially when the amount of money you've put in a trade all of it just disappears all of it's gone because you lost it so we always want to avoid that right this ties into management and sustainability risk risk appetite is how much money you're willing to lose and usually as a as a rule of thumb as a benchmark it's usually one percent per trade now i know people who risk more than that but i also know people who risk less me personally i risk less i use 0 0.5 percent per trade but however i'm talking in terms of um forex um on crypto it can differ sometimes but usually it's 0 0.5 or 1 percent again this depends on your trading system and your rules i'm not teaching you guys how to make a system in this video i'm not telling you what percentage you should use I'm just showing you how to calculate that specific percentage and what it's going to mean for you when you're trading. On top of that, in terms of sustainability, being able to calculate your risk, calculate your leverage, means you take controlled losses. It means you're aware of how much you might lose and it means you're most likely happy, not well, not happy, but okay with losing that amount if things don't go your way because, of course, it's going to be a controlled loss. So I've got a simple formula here. Um, someone's like a master don't come at me i just wrote this in my own way if you take the percentage of your stop loss and you times it by a leverage it's going to tell you how much money you could be losing right or what percentage of your money so i'm just going to show you guys on trading view because that's the easiest way to do it okay so this is the chart for one harmony let's just imagine we took i don't know a trade from here right and we're going to expand this and our stop loss is down here right cool let's make this a bit clearer. okay cool let's say our stop loss was let's say there okay cool what i want you guys to pay attention to is there's a percentage here right this is 1.3 percent what this 1.3 percent means from your entry to your stop loss, that's how much movement in the coin's value there is, right? This means from here to here, the coin, Harmony 1, lost 1.3% of its value, right? That's your spot trading, meaning on one leverage or no leverage. So what that means is, let's say if now, for example, you risk... 10% a trade right and now you know that this is 1.3% correct so what this means is the maximum leverage you should be using is 10 divided by 1.3 right 10 divided by 1.3 if I just do that off the top of my head it should be seven or eight we're just gonna go for seven usually i like to stick on the lower end anyways all right so seven x what this means is so when we go on you know binance buy a bit whatever you should be using seven x if you want to risk ten percent but some people are now confused what this specific ten percent even means what this means is when you set a trade right you can choose what amount so let's imagine you set a hundred dollar trade right? that's how much margin you put in the trade and you're only willing to lose ten dollars of this right yeah ten dollars so ten dollars is ten percent of a hundred right so if this is how much you're willing to lose or if this is how much 
your loss is allowed to be according to your model and rules then what you can do is use the calculation like I showed you guys if we just come back here this is 1.3% so what you do is you take your amount divide it by this and then you get the amount of leverage you should be using so for this example it was 7x right so now I'm just going to show you guys one more time we'll just use a different example um, doesn't really matter where I put it but let's just say there let's just say your stop loss is 2% now right here you can see it says 2% and of course, if you if you do want to know if you are curious, it does say it for your, your take profit as well. But like I said, concentrate on how much you might possibly lose rather than how much you might possibly make in terms of managing your risk. Of course, you want to focus on both, but for the time being, your loss. So of course, you know this is 2%, right? And we just said that our... If we're willing to lose $10, because that's that's the maximum stop loss right which is 10% of the margin that means that we need 10 divided by 2 which gives us what 5 it means we use 5x right but let's let's break this down again a bit further people say you should only risk 1% what does that mean that means so in this case does that mean $1 well yes it does you want to take your futures account right let's look at it this way let's imagine my futures account has ten thousand dollars right and from that ten thousand I put one thousand in a trade and off that one thousand right I'm willing to lose ten percent ten percent of a thousand is a hundred yes oops sorry hundred what I'm saying is if ten thousand total balance This is your margin so this is how much you've assigned to one trade and then therefore this can be your stop loss right so this is 10% of your margin which is fine that's up to preference right however it is 1% of your total balance that's the important bit this this number of course has to correlate to both these amounts but if you have for example a thousand dollars in your futures account then I'd only be risking ten dollars and for some people that might sound like nothing you might want to risk more to make more I understand but the whole point of risking one percent or zero point five percent means you can take so many losses back to back and you won't blow your account bear in mind if you risk one percent every time you have to lose so many trades back to back to back which is very unrealistic so controlling your losses minimizing them and making sure it's always you know around that area of 0.5 one percent or or at least having a system where you know how much you're losing and what the consequences could be it's going to make sure that you have sustainability in trading in general like you're going to be able to trade for longer and not blow your account so yeah that's that's pretty much all there is to it um of course i've, I've not shown you guys on the apps um i can't I could access them from a laptop but I know there's quite a few different apps so I'd rather not go through it most apps do have a profit loss section and they have like a slider or somewhere where you can enter the leverage so I hope this can essentially just help you calculate all of the things that you need to put for yourself that's it from me today uh, quite a short video I hope all of that helped I know some people might potentially still be confused, so you can message me on all my socials here. Um, I've also now got a public Telegram channel. I'm going to put the link below so everyone can go join that. Leave a comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.